The off season begins and we're off to Mexico to reunite with our parents. I'm, I'm Mexican. I come from a Mexican family, but I've actually never set foot in the country. Growing up in the United States, this is about to be a special moment for me. How will I be greeted upon arrival? Will, will people know who I am because of my success in international football over playing in England? What I did last year in the MLS and will I find my parents? You know, I have their address from where they've been living, but I haven't really had contact with them for the past few years. It's off to bed, but when I wake up, we'll be arriving in Mexico. Alright, I was not expecting this upon arrival. We're at the airport, you know, people knew that I was coming over, but I didn't expect it, an entrance like this. Guys, I'm now one of the top rated Mexican players in the world, and I was greeted like an absolute superstar arriving. People know that I'm here, and I guess Raul Hernandez is a household name around these parts. People are just so ecstatic to see another Mexican football player having success on a top level. But I, I said my hellos and thank them, but it's time to head off and find my family. drive in the country took, well, hours upon hours to reach the location that I last knew that they were at. And when I arrived, two people standing. This is it. This is where I reunite with my family. After all these years, there they are standing right in front of me. Or is it them? Upon arrival, this was obviously something I wasn't expecting. And well, they cut right to the chase. My family had been reporting missing about a week ago, nowhere to be seen. This is, in fact, where they'd been living. This is their home for the past few years, but after the mysterious disappearance, they'd seemingly vanished. Why? I mean, I'd announced that I was returning to Mexico about a week ago as well, so maybe they were coming to see me? They found a way to get out? I'd... I, I don't know what to think. I don't know what to believe. No contact. Their home is here. The police said they were keeping up with the activity, but nothing has been heard of or seen of in the past week. Where is my family gone? The reuniting will have to wait. In that case, I spent as much time as I could in Mexico looking in the off season, but Nothing had come up and it was time to return to England where all the front papers were reading the mysterious disappearance of a Mexican Premier League superstars family. Where have they gone? All the media wanted to know the scoop. They wanted to know what was happening and everyone in Mexico back home continued the search, continued the hunt. And for myself, I had to return and get straight back to work. As much as I wanted to find my family this off season, it just wasn't in the cards and you know i figured they were okay before this off season but now after returning to mexico it's looking like things could be much worse than i thought we've gone up to an 80 overall which i would say is good news but at this point is there really any good news the europa league as well as a competition that i didn't think we'd have a chance to compete in but we do and this is one that i'm very excited about i didn't think we'd get european football in this second season with Everton, but we might. If we can win these qualifiers, we are straight into the Europa League. Let's get into it, a team that is very, very beatable. And here we go, boys, it's gonna be an interesting one. How will these storylines progress? Our third season, we are obviously at a really, really difficult time with the storylines, what has happened, the whole world searching 
for my family? Will they be found? And where have they gone? Where have they disappeared to? That is what everyone wants to know. We move though, important games upcoming. The season begins and it begins with an absolute bang. Or does it? I mean, it's not the greatest goal you're ever gonna see. 15th minute, we score it, we put it in on the ground. Very, very slow shot. We just use that precision, that accuracy, that bit of finesse. And here, away from home, yes. I mean, obviously it's always more difficult playing away from home, but this team, man, oh my God, this team. Um, you know what, to be fair, not really familiar with the club, but all I know is they're not one of the most high rated clubs in the world. And as a Premier League side, with so much great talent, including myself and so many others on this Everton team. There is no reason we should be losing this leg, the second leg. We should 1 million percent be qualifying for the Europa League, so I'm not really too worried about that. We're just going to play this first qualifier. The second one, you know, assuming we can actually hold this lead and win this one, the second one might be Sim. That's how much confidence I have in this Everton squad and actually being able to pick up points and win right here. Halftime, 1-0. We got the lone goal. Sligo, Sligo Roger, Rovers? Well, oh my god, my, my pronunciations are just absolutely brutal. If I had to guess, I'm guess, you know, it's probably a Scottish team? That would be my guess. You know, obviously I am probably incorrect. I'm, I don't even know. <laughs> oh boy, you guys are absolutely going to roast me for that one if I uh, am incorrect. But we make it 2-0 no, right here. We have ourselves, no, it's an Irish team. Rip, Irish, Scottish. Close enough, boys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if I've offended anyone out there. 2-0, though. It's looking like we're probably going to end up picking up a win right here. We would like to continue to add on. You know, I'm, I'm assuming away goals count in the qualifiers. Not 100%, but, you know, you, you would, I would assume. You know, I'm not really used to playing the Europa League qualifiers. I don't really support any clubs who are ever playing in Europa League qualifiers. So, either way, it's a win. We pick it up 2-0. We're heading back to the second leg, which is going to be next week. Again, that one will probably be simmed next episode. Probably not going to waste time playing that one. Because you would assume if we win 2-0 here on the road, we should be able to absolutely smash it at home. Just glad to be playing European football, boys. A big win in our debut this season. I'm not going to lie, I've had a rough go of it here in this first month of August as the Premier League is about to kick off. You saw Europa League qualifiers and I'm basically just sat here thinking to myself, what is my plan moving forward? Last season, I had the goal in mind to secure enough money to be able to go over to Mexico and be able to afford to bring my family to basically wherever and get them out of where they were living but now that they're they're gone and there's really no control. I have no control of where my family are. I, no one knows at this point. I'm just left to wonder what is my next call? What is my next opportunity? What am I even playing for at this point? I really don't know. There was all these storylines at the beginning of the career and now we're left with nothing. This is a storyline though. Luis Suarez moves. Oh my goodness. Everton to Manchester United. Luis Suarez, believe it or not, is joining us. And his debut is about to be in this next game against Leeds United. What? One of the most, I don't even know, shocking transfers. So now we have Luis Suarez in James Rodriguez playing for Everton, all right? About five years ago, if someone would have told you James Rodriguez and Luis Suarez would both be on Everton, you would probably say that they're crazy. Obviously, this is in real life. Suarez is not on Everton in real life. But, yo, this is the beauty we get with FIFA, man. What a transfer. I'm so excited for this. We're all in the starting 11. Cordoba, I, I, I want to say he's a new transfer. Could be wrong. And you know what that kind of makes you think? With Luis Suarez moving away from United, does that clear room for my friend? You guys know Blake Johnson, our you know, Bond we had growing up, he's now on United, he's a striker. Could that be clearing room for him to be the next starter? The next starting striker on United? Oh my goodness, that's going to be an interesting one to look out for. Let's get into this Premier League debut though, boys, in season number three. Leeds United, we got off to a super, super hot start. Can we keep it up? Can we keep it going? You're about to find out. Here we go. This is going to be a fun one, man. We are looking to do big things in the Prem this year. And it all starts with this 1-0. And you know, it's, it's early in the season. This is only our second game, but we've been putting in some big goals. The offense has been 
flowing. Myself in the midfield, you know, I'm, I'm actually learning to play more of a central midfield role instead of an essential attack midfield role. Getting these assists, playing these through balls. This is a great one right here, man. I'm staying in position. I'm doing what I need to do. I'm not scoring the ball. And I'm letting my teammates do the work because you've seen our attack. It's a really, really solid attack. And if we can continue to, to pass like this, play like this, you know what? Maybe I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, guys. We have played a team in the Irish League and Leeds United, a team who's most likely to be more towards the bottom of the table, you would assume. So, are we? am I getting ahead of myself 2-0 now? I don't know. I, it's, it's so early, but I'm very confident in this team. I think that's what I'm trying to say. And still with time left in the transfer window, we've brought in Suarez. We've brought in a few others. Could there be enough time left for another massive, massive signing? Could you imagine the scenes, man? If we could... You know, I think what we need at this point, maybe a better goalkeeper or a few defenders. We're looking very, very solid. I'm confident in our attack. That's one thing. It may not be the greatest attack, but adding Suarez really, really helped us out. And this is going to be 3-0. See, at this point, this is when you know that we're playing well, when I'm not even involved in the attack. And it's my teammates doing the work, scoring the goals. 3-0 Leeds United. Oh, poor Leeds United. This one's not looking good for them, is it? Wow, what a start to the Prem, man. I'm loving that we're showing out in front of these fans at Goodison as well. Holy crap, what a volley right there. Keeper really leaves nothing for him to do. And there it is. Unfortunately, no goal for Luis Suarez in his debut. He's rocking that number 27. Should we change that for him? Should Suarez be changed from number 27? And I apologize yet again. Dinier still wearing the number 12. I need to switch that one. Oh my God, I've been putting that off for so long. Either way, boys, 3-0. What a win. What a past few months. It has been a crazy start to the season. What was a crazy off season. And now we're about to get into the heat of it all. After that first month passes, you start ramping things up with cup matches, with European competitions. And we're already into it, man. It is about to be one hell of a season. So much madness going on. And to add to the madness, a call. From an unknown number, but all it said was a call from Mexico. In this call, well, let me tell you right now, what I thought was a call that was going to lead to something involving my parents had nothing to do with my parents. Mexico was on the phone, and I'll let you guys leave it there. Who is this calling? I, th I think I've left it pretty obvious. This is going to be the next step forward in my career, boys. And what an opportunity it's going to be. The hunt continues. The search for my parents and... Well, boys, things are about to just ramp up in this career mode. 5K likes if you guys want to see the next one as soon as possible. Appreciate the support in this series. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.